I'll tell you something else I learned yesterday. Now, I, you, you're going to think, well, of course, it's obvious, but uh, we know a guy who drives a Tesla. He works here, okay? And yesterday, he happened to park next to me in the parking lot. And so I, uh, I, when I see a Tesla on the road, what do I do? Your jaw drops. Oh, yeah. Holly, is it the future? There's the Tesla. <laughs> Although at this point, they're everywhere. But I still, know, you're but still. I know. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, I don't really see the world around me very much. No. So when future I, car. The future car. <laughs> and don't get me started on those big old Tesla Cyber trucks. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Oh, the military's in town. <laughs> yes. Yes. The first time I saw it, I thought, Military takeover. <laughs> oh, they're securing us. Yes, right. Well, oh, and I, what did I just say? Who's the actor? Jason Bateman got rid of his Tesla because he's liberal. Anti-Elon. And he said, driving a Tesla, although he said, I loved the vehicle, driving it seemed like one big giant Trump bumper sticker. Mm. So, uh, oh, by the way, we have a guy here who's a big Trumper, okay? A uh, big MAGA guy. And uh, yesterday in our meeting, you know, we have a meeting here once a week. I'm the two hump grump in there. Oh, yeah. That's your job. Yeah. You represent uh, the grumps in the building. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, yes. you're, like, you're like the grump proxy. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and yesterday we were all, you know, slapping each other on the back for a wonderful trunk or treat exercise. And I was like, I didn't you just like sit there with your arms mm. folded. Yeah. It didn't do much for me. Didn't care high much. fives went around the room yeah. like a wave. All the high fives. <laughs> I didn't care much for the DJ. <laughs> uh, that's. Matt's father-in-law. I heard Thriller twice. Oh. I saw her Thriller twice. <laughs> Beginning and middle, I said, you know, let's give us a buried up. Give me extended replay. Exactly. Give me something else. Bury up your <laughs> selection there on Halloween uh, for Halloween fun. Anyhow, at the end of the meeting, uh, the guy in charge of it, our sales guy, says there's a lot of birthday cards in the middle of the table. One of our colleagues' mother is turning 100 years old. And the goal is to get her 100 cards for her 100th birthday. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So um, the, the sales manager, Ricky, said, I've bought about 10 birthday cards. If you want to take one, just sign your name to it. Wish her happy birthday. There's her, and they had her address written on the whiteboard in the room. It's a nice thing. It's a really, she's turning okay. 100. Yeah. So you he's even grump your way out of that. I couldn't. I didn't. I, I could not mm -hmm. grump my way out of it. Now, I'm sitting right next to the Trumper, the uh, big-time MAGA guy. And look, I don't make my politics known. I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. Somebody yesterday sent me a Kamala shirt. It says Kamala, and like a jersey. It says Kamala, and it has a 47. That's right. That's right. And I said, I'm not going to wear this. <laughs> I told Kristen I'm not making it known. I, I told you I'm, I'm not going to tell you who I voted for. I'm not going to make a prediction. I'm keeping it to my. You just make bets. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I've got twenty dollars, forty toter, forty toter on Madam Harris to mm. win the presidency. All right, I've lost that before, and then some. You know that. So anyway, uh, our sales guy says there's a bunch of birthday cards in the middle of the table. Take one if you'd like, and send her happy birthday for her hundredth birthday. The goal is to get her a hundred cards. And uh, somebody says, "When's her birthday?" And um, Ricky says. Election day. She turns 100 on election day. Well, our MAGA guy says, who's she voting for? <laughs> so. Okay. All right. So Ricky said, well, she is, she cannot stand former President Trump. So MAGA guy puts the card right back down. <laughs> Good. Walks away. <laughs> That's 99 yeah, cards, won't Grandma. Do, won't <laughs> do it. Okay. Here's something else. Here's our brain trust in this building. Are you ready? All right, there's eight or ten of us around the table. So he says, yeah, she turns 100 on Election Day. Now, Election Day is November 5th, first Tuesday in November, right? Our colleague, another colleague says, uh, I was born on Election Day in 1988, November 8th. Then our brain trust says, did they move Election Day? <laughs> Rage intensifies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how I am. You know how I am. Oh, yeah. Grump intensifies. Oh, big time. This is the guy in charge of the meeting. He goes, what did they do? Move election day by three days? And I have to turn to him and say, oh, you cannot be serious. <laughs> Slowly take off your glasses. Now. Give him a civics lesson. This uh, <laughs> this woman turning 100. Yeah. She's not going to get a card from you that just simply has helped me scratch into it. <laughs> I'm surrounded. 
This is the guy in charge. Yeah, mm-hmm. our colleagues, says, I was born on Election Day, November 8th, 1988, the day that George H.W. Bush was elected. Did they move Election Day? Why'd they move it up three days? Huh. I just said, are you kidding me? I mean, <laughs> this is the same guy who quibbled with me over Thanksgiving being mm-hmm. early or late. Oof. You know how yeah. I you know how I am on these things. All right. All that aside, yesterday our friend who has a Tesla parked next to me in the parking lot, and we were leaving at the same time, but I didn't see him go out to his car. I guess he was already in it by the time I got to my, my car. And suddenly it just backs up without making any noise. Oh. And I was like, Demon. <laughs> yep. I did not know. I mean, they're God's real God. quiet. They are as quiet as they get. Yeah. I mean, he didn't make any noise at all. And I just stared at him, and he was like, what? And I was like, you, you're you stealthy. You scared me. You scared me. me a fright. Mm-hmm. He, he did give me a fright. Now, today, he's not. On, he's late <laughs> because he forgot to plug it in. <laughs> oh, these things happen. I just heard It's going to happen. It, it, it does. He forgot yep. to plug it in, and so he's late. He, and he said, I can't make it to work today. Yeah. I, I'm not plugged in. Once or twice a year, I forget to charge my phone at night. Well, yeah. It does happen. It does. Of course, it does. You, Luckily, you don't have to drive your phone to work, so you no. can get yeah. here and then plug it in when you get here. You know, I'd be the type though that if I um, had an electric car, mm. and hopefully I never will, um, I'd be so paranoid I'd check it. Yeah, like before I went to bed, mm-hmm. I'd you know I'm sure it's hooked to your phone. Pull up and see what the battery says. Yeah, smart. Get, I, get I'd, be, I'd be so paranoid about it. Wouldn't you think as soon as you pull it? Into wherever you pull it, you plug it right in yep, when you get out of the but car. But I'd still worry that, you know, just like your phone, sometimes you don't plug it. You, mm-hmm. The plug comes a little bit out of the wall. Well, there's that. You know, there's something like that. Yeah. So I'd be, before I went to bed, I'd be so paranoid each night, I'd, I'd check Did it. Did I try? You know what? This may already exist. We may have invented, we may invent something yet that already exists. But they have, and Biggie, I know, I know has talked about this before too, but they have cell phone chargers mm-hmm. where you simply sit yeah. your phone on top of it. Yeah. There's got to be a pad you can put in your driveway or garage. I think there that is. can electrify your I car. I believe there is. I, I think that is true. But it's got to go through the tires. Now, I don't know how that's going to work. If they haven't invented it, I think they're close. I, I believe the phone is yeah. flat against the yeah. surface. I think you mentioned that before, and people called and said, yeah, that is either on the way or is here, which would make sense. I mean, that would be yeah. the, the ideal thing. If you're a Tesla owner or an electric car owner, do you charge it every day, or could I get away with a few days of not charging it? I don't even know. I'm sure you, most I, that gives you a mileage, so yeah, I'm sure yeah, yeah. I know this person and oh, I know I, him. Yeah, and he, I guarantee you, pushes it to the limit. I don't think my friend in Virginia dr- charges his every day. Yeah, there's one down the street from us, and when I go past it. I can see into their carport because it's open mm. and it's not plugged in. It's maybe plugged in once a month when I go by. Oh, is that all? Mm-hmm. How many miles do you get out of one charge? We've probably asked this before. Two sure. to three hundred. Yeah, something like that. So you could drive it to work at home. Oh, a yeah. A few days. Yeah, absolutely. Least. Yeah. OK. Well, he must have pushed it to the limit because he forgot to plug her in. I would be one, though, if if, if, we're, if it didn't damage the battery, I would plug it in every day. It may be one of those things where they say don't do that. Maybe. Yeah, it might be. Because that's the way, but if you don't do it every day, then if you, let's say you did it every day and it doesn't damage the mm-hmm. battery, then if you forget a day, okay, it's not that big a deal. Yeah. You're still, you're, you're, you're still okay. Well, yeah. I believe for a while here, he was uh, charging here until management said, quit uh, running yeah. up the power bill. We were, uh, mm-hmm. somebody yeah. looked at the power bill and said, what in the world? What? Yeah. And like, yeah, he's parked in a handicap spot. Yeah. And, uh, charging his yeah, car. He did that too. <laughs> I don't know which is more egregious. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's egregious. I mean, this is yeah, an let's be honest. an egregious yeah. individual. Exactly. <laughs> I shouldn't talk too mm. much about him. He's a dear friend. I wouldn't sure. say that. Okay. <laughs> but he is, well, I just couldn't believe it when uh, he called in to say, not coming in till late. Forgot no, to uh, no juice. plug in my yep. car. This is about items that are broken too. Biggie brought this to me. I don't know the world around me. I just found this out a couple of years ago, but it's been going on forever. The McFlurry machines at McDonald's uh, always break. That's the joke now. You know, they're always broken. You can't get Yeah, the ice cream machines never work. I just read an article that says that, in fact, there's a a website called McBroken.com that tracks Mm. where they're all broken. But now it turns out the reason they're always broken is because there's a company that is the only company that's legally allowed to work on them. I think uh, I I was surprised to hear that, that, that. it's called like uh, Taylor Electronics or something. They're the only ones allowed to work on the machines. Is that a McDonald's corporate? Yeah, McDonald's has a has a deal with them saying you're the ones that have to fix these machines. 
But now the uh, they've made a change, and the copyright office has weighed in and says, "Well, now anyone can fix them." So this it might be it may be that the days of the McDonald's McFlurry machine being broken all the time is over. Hmm. But I, that's the first I ever heard of that. You know, they used to. What was Biggie's theory and everybody's theory was they just nobody don't wants to clean, clean it them because that's right. that's it's right. a work intensive job making a McFlurry. Exactly. So that's why. That, that's why we've had former McDonald's people. employees call in and say yes. it, the truth is yeah. it's they work. terribly. Yeah. yeah, they work. It's just terribly hard to clean. Yeah. I mean, you have to really take it apart to clean it properly. And McDonald's right now really wants to be clean. They, yeah. they're, they're going through something right mm-hmm. now, yeah. you know, with their onions and so forth. Now, mm-hmm. uh, former President Trump did put out a pretty funny uh, tweet the other day yeah. it, after he worked at McDonald's. Yeah. And this was from his official account. He said, if I'm elected. All the ice cream machines will work. <laughs> you don't okay. have to worry about that anymore. Right. I'll you, take care of it. Ice cream machines will always be working at, at McDonald's. Least, at least you get that. Here's one for you too, Biggie. Uh, I saw today. I don't know how much I really trust these. And there's a, what, it's where those maps are online about the the favorite cookie in each state yeah. or burger. They did favorite chicken nugget in every state, and uh, Chick Fil A uh, was favorite in 19 states mcdonald's 21 so there you've covered 40 right there i figured chick-fil-a would walk away with it i did it. too i mean to me the mcnugget is like the, the the first nugget you get as a kid it's it's not great but the chick-fil-a nugget is superior by far white meat chicken whole chicken all the way through 100 percent right uh, the, the mcdonald's chicken nugget is i thought squashed. they upgraded all that stuff they do white meat chicken now but it's still yeah. a pressed chicken it's a pressed chicken yeah. versus chicken chicken yeah well anyway it's mcdonald's 21 and Chick-fil-A, 19. Then, Wendy's, up in the Northeast, there's some Wendy's. Wendy's does have good a good nugget. chicken nugget. Good nugget. They do. Agreed. Those new, new spicy, what's in spice? Saucy, saucy, nugs. saucy nugs. Overrated. Oh, really? All right. Mm-hmm. You think? We I tried used? them on uh, uh-huh. my food podcast. And, yep. and uh, all it is is the same thing you could do at home. It's They slap a little bit of sauce on them, shake them up, okay. charge you extra for them. Well, a few <laughs> liked Wendy's. Two Burger Kings. Terrible nugget. Not a good nugget. No, they're and you can get that's they're always cheap too. For a while, that I'm sure it's gone up some, but you could get like ten for a dollar. Really? Yeah, that's a great, but yeah. not good. You said. Oh, terrible nugget. All right, here's your trivia question. You ready? One outlier state, North Carolina, North Carolina, where we live, did not choose McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, or Chick Fil A as its favorite nugget. What do you think the favorite nugget? Oh, oh and also KFC was. was it. Where's the Colonel? It's not K- yeah. KFC had a couple, but not. It's not North Carolina. So one outlier in North Carolina. It, did we pick? Let me ask this: Did we go regional or national? Regional, cookout. That is exactly right. Cookout. You nailed nugget. it. We love cookout. Do and, you? And cookout has a phenomenal chicken nugget. Really? I didn't even know they had. I them. didn't know they had nuggets. Yeah, people. Um, you know, the big fight now is what's better. Uh, in and out or cookout. Really? And you have all these influencers, I guess you would say, who will travel, mm. you know, when they come to the North Carolina, South Carolina, I'm like, all right, I'm going to this place cookout because all I've heard about is how crazy it is. Great burger. Great, yeah. And great oh, milkshakes. Yeah. Great milkshakes. Oh, and the the combos. I mean, mm. corn dog is a side, nuggets is a side. Tater tot. You know how it threw the diesel. <laughs> You remember, well, the menu is a little complex. <laughs> well, there's 50 for the things. noobs. There's 50 things on it. Yeah, we're coming back from the beach on a Sunday. Can't go to Chick Fil A. We're staring at it. Diesel's yeah. like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do I do? There's 50 milkshakes. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta know when you roll up there too. You better know. You gotta know. It's like I want a tray yeah, yeah. with a spicy chicken sandwich with lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise. Let me get a side of nuggets and a side of seasoned fries. Boy. Oreo shake to drink. Look Let's at go. You. You're the pro. Oh yeah. I mean, I've been wearing. I, uh, I wish you had been in that car that oh, day. Can you teach the diesel? <laughs> he was off. I mean, learning if you grew up anywhere or if you grew up in North Carolina, you know, you know it. Yeah. I mean, I've known how to order at cookout since. It's one of the first things I learned in high school. It was the first place I went when I got a car. Well, Diesel didn't know. He's not. He's from Florida. He did not right. know. He did not yeah. know. And we got up there, and he's like, I can't see the whole menu. Yeah. Like, pull around. I wish what Cookout should do is they always have two drive through lines. Yeah. They should have a noobs and a pro. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We'd have to go to noobs. Because the worst thing you get, you hear somebody, they're like, I need to look at the menu. And you're like, oh, we're going to be here for five minutes. That's true. That's <laughs> so much yeah. of it.